All right, so this is going to be a Sagittarius Sun Moon and as well rising, a weekly love and relationship tarot reading December 23rd to a December 29th, 2019. <clears throat> and uh, if you guys uh, want to get in touch with me personally for a, a private reading, you can check the description down below in this uh, video and there you're going to find a link to my website as well a, a link that is going to lead you to your uh, career and business tarot reading for that very same week. Now, that being said, moving into the relationship and love tarot reading for you, we do have the topic of the Hierophant and the second card shows us the energy supporting the topic. Uh, afterwards, we do have the challenges that you need to overcome and uh, these three cards speaks the whole world really um the next one is going to be the gifts and the blessings and that is going to be the gift and the blessing of the hangman followed by uh, the how your how the people around you are going to see you are uh, your future interest or your interest your partner your friends your family that is going to be the sun card Followed by the next one, which stands for what can help your long-term goals. And that is going to be the Queen of Swords. Followed by the next one, which represents what can hurt your long-term relationship goals. That is going to be the um, Nine of Swords. And the last one represents the guidance that Tara is offering to you, Sagittarius, in terms of love and relationships for the week December 23rd to December 29th. So, um, the higher funds and the six of cups relationship wise. Well, it's kind of beautiful, you know, because um, the, the energies that are feeding up the topic are the energies where one just needs to connect, you know, that one that needs to kind of feel desired, one needs to feel um, or at least see that it is. Um, cherished, yeah, desired as well, and, and in general, you're recognized as a uh, potential partner. And as those energies are feeding up the situation, that means that those energies are going to be in place. So we definitely have an, an interest, especially if you're single, we definitely have a shown interest towards you. Now as an energy, that interest may be uh, discreet or secretive. However, the topic itself, which is the Hierophants, could point us to two things. Now, the first thing here, it is that uh, there will be a uh, amplification of the trust that you do uh, have in between your person of interest or in between you, uh, you and your partner. And the things are going to start moving into the framework of already established ways how relationships should happen. But also the Hierophant, it does represent the, how can I say it? the natural direction of one's love and relationship life, which the natural direction it is into improvement. What I mean is that we cannot be alone. We are not beings to be, we are not created to be alone. So especially for the lonely souls out there, Sagittarius, well, it is time, I think, to look around yourself uh, because you're going to be surprised what you're going to find that there are those who show interest. Well, the thing is that with the Six of Cups, the um, physical interest display is going to be uh, bigger than the emotional interest display. But really, this is how these days operates. What I mean is that people have sex before they actually commit into a relationship. So let's there you go, you, you have it. But with the with the Hierophant, it's very important not to push it as well, but you need to go the traditional way. What I mean, you know, datings, dinners, um, you know, romance and, and all these kind of stuff. And should you decide to commit or not, or should you decide to stay in your current relationship or not, it is very important to trust, guys. That is thing that you cannot overlook. If there is even a single shred of seed that's kind of makes you doubt into something that 
particular thing needs to be addressed straight away. Otherwise, there will be always pollution into your love and relationship life. So now the next one, it is the challenges that you need to stand against. We do have the full card and it's pretty self-explanatory from one side. It does point to a new beginning, right? So it will be challenging for you to jump into a new relationship because of the trust. Now the Fool and the Hierophant, I know that I said before, I am leaving aside the elements of dignities, okay? But the Fool and the Hierophant, they are a passive enemies into this interaction. And as such, the trust itself or the lack of uh, uh, unconditional trust or kind of like, uh, you know, a full trust is kind of like 100% trust. It is something that is going to obstruct you of giving chances. And that will be the challenging thing. The other challenging thing for you, Sagittarius, is going to be the uh, light hardness that you will have to uh, incorporate into the performance of these interactions or a relationship as well. In other words, do not take the things way too seriously or way too personally. But just from those three cards here, Sagittarius, if you are in a search for love, well, guess what, guys, you're gonna find it. Well, maybe not the love you are expecting with the butterflies in the stomachs, you know. Uh, I kinda like uh, read something funny um, a few days ago. It was a post in Facebook saying, you know, if I when I feel that I have butterflies in my stomach, I am trying to, um, crush them with uh, with meatballs and drown them in beer. So uh, yeah, it's kind of, it's not gonna be uh, that low butterflies in the stomach, but it's going to be this one that kind of takes plants and develops slowly, but surely and steady in, uh, in the long run. Uh, one more thing here, um, especially for those in marriages with those three cards, it is that, um, if you do have a problem in the marriage, these cards are the recipe for solution and they point to seeking a, a professional help like a couple's therapist, okay, uh, with, with those three cards. So the other one here, it is the gifts and the blessings of the hangman. And the hangman as a gift and blessing tells us that uh, you are going to have the gift of the breakthrough throughout the week. The breakthrough through uh, having a new perspective upon life and upon relationships as well. So what I am trying to say here, it is the one day throughout the week you're going to wake up and you are going to have completely different understanding of your personal situation and different look upon uh, people that are showing interest towards you. What I am trying to say here, it is that one day you may kind of even not consider giving a chance to someone and at the other day you may say, well, what the hell, you know, I mean, let's try it out, see how it's going to happen. But also the hangman as a gift and blessing appoints that uh, the problems you may have with your person of interest or with your wife or a husband, whatever, they are not without resolution. And should you be patient enough, uh, they are to be resolved. So it's kind of like that is the gift of sustainability as well. So how, uh, one second guys, so how other people sees you, uh, how your person of interest sees you, how your uh, friends and family sees you, how your partner sees you, that is the sun card. And they see you as someone sprinkling with, um, uh, with these positive energies for growing as a, someone who wants to grow. But above everything else, they see you as a, a source of their happiness. And tell me, is there anything more beautiful than that? Okay, so when you're not around, they are not in their full stage of happiness, but when you are around, they do feel happy. Additionally to that, they see you as their natural extension. What I mean it is that they are natural cause of proceeding forwards. So uh, that card itself points that throughout this week, you are going to shine bright in the eyes of your partner or in the eyes of your uh, interest, you know, romantic interest, and it will be a shame if you don't do anything about it. So if you have an interest towards someone, especially with a hierophant, it is best to say it, right? It's that way, the very least you are gonna know, is it worth wasting time or not?
Now, the other card, it represents uh, what is going to help your long term goal. And uh, that card differs. Are you single or not? Now, if you are not single, uh, in both cases, it is your person. But in the case of not being single, that is a person who resolves your problem, the professional help you need. Or uh, it's again professional or the objective help you need. It could be a common friend, your couple's therapist, your shrink, your neighbor, uh, the mother of your wife, you know, it is someone who wants that relationship to proceed forward. And what that person does, it gives advices and those advices need to be heard. Now for those single, that is uh, almost the same kind of a situation with a person, but apart from advices that that person as well breeds courage in you and you better believe to what that person tells you and you better believe into your own uh, courage. So pretty much if you are single, this person, Queen of Swords, I kind of like pushes you to do what it is necessary to make yourself happy. Now the next card, it is what is going to hurt your long term goals and that is the uh, Nine of Swords, pretty self explanatory. We're talking about the fear of revealing your true interest, your your true intentions, your true feelings, if you will, um, and generally your true nature, because you are afraid of the consequences. For example, you're afraid to say to someone that you like them because you are afraid to lose them forever. Well, if you don't say that you like them, you don't have them in reality, all right? So objectively, you are not together, so you have nothing. And if you lose them, then you're, you're not going to waste any time any longer and you can move to the next one. So the other card here, or as well, you know, it could be also a pointing that you are not admitting that you do have problems into your current marriage, for example, or into your current relationship, feeling of the consequences, what needs to be taken as an action afterwards. And the last one, it is the guidance of Tarot, and that is the Knight, the King of uh, Wands. Now, this one is connected to the challenge very tightly uh, of this reading. As we said, the challenge is going to be give a chance and as well act carefree. Don't take things seriously. Don't take things personally. Try to enjoy yourself. So it is exactly that, guys, with the King of Wands, because the King of Wands has this knack to have a good life or to make the most out of the time he has. Additionally to that, the King of Wands, it is about challenges, um, kind of like, how can I say it? Not, not about challenges, but it's about challenging one situation in a sense of that if uh, the relationship does not present you challenge, then it's not worth it. Okay. It's, I usually don't stick by those words. I am on the, um, on the opinion that if you have to push it, then it's going to be a shit but not in this case. In this case, actually, if you don't have to push it, then it's not worth it. Uh, that's the guidance itself. So that being said, Sagittarius, this was your weekly love and relationship tarot reading, guys. It does look like that uh, you're going to find a new meaning of love here. And um, I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And if you are interested in a private reading with me, you can get in touch with me uh, by checking out the description down below where you're going to find my website. And as well, at that same description, you're going to find a link to your business and career tarot reading. That being said, um, I see you around, I guess. And until then, bye.